Hey guys, welcome. Today I'm going to do a deep dive into retargeting inside Unreal Engine. So please like, subscribe, and if you're interested in joining the community, I have a link to the Discord below. Let's get into it. Okay, to get started, I have two different characters in my scene. The first one is the Unreal Engine mannequin, and the other one is Man, who is a free asset from Fab. I definitely suggest downloading one more asset other than the Unreal Engine mannequin. So you can kind of see how retargeting works from the Unreal Engine mannequin to another Fab asset. On that same note, if you do not have the Unreal Engine mannequin in your scene because you started with a blank profile, what you can do is click Control Space, go over to Add, go up to Add Feature or Content Pack, click on that, click on Third Person, and then click Add to Project. Once you do so, you will then have added a mannequin to your scene. So now that we have both our assets in our scene, the next thing we can do is go to Mixamo to bring in a animation. So if I hit control space, I already have my animation added in. It is this animation right here, uh, a chicken dance animation. So if I click on it, you will see the character that I used from Mixamo as well as the animation itself. So if you want to follow along exactly, you can go to Mixamo and download it from there. It's a very simple process. Uh, or you can use any other animation asset you would like to use during this tutorial. So to get started on retargeting, the first thing I'm gonna do is hit Control Space, go over to our animation sequence, right click it and click Retarget Animations. Once I do that, you're gonna see Target Skeletal Mesh. If you click down on this drop down menu, scroll down to Manny Simple, which is the skeleton we are using, click on that and then click on the animation itself. You're gonna see the animation popping up exactly on the retargeted skeletal mesh. So if I kind of inspect a little further, you're gonna see that the feet are actually a little messed up. So the feet on our Mixamo asset is flat and the feet on our mannequin is raised. So what we wanna do is fix that. So the first thing we can do is go over to either export animations. So assuming that issue wasn't there and this animation looked good and you're happy with it and you just wanted to export it right away and kind of bring it into your software or your sequence, then just click export animations. It'll export a new animation sequence that's connected to the Unreal Engine skeleton. But if you wanna make some minor adjustments before you actually export the animation, you can then go over to export retarget assets, which we're gonna do. So I'm gonna click export retarget assets, go over to our mocap folder where the actual root animation is being held and click export. Now, if I hit control space, you're going to see it made an IK rig for both the original and the source or original and the target. And then it is also going to have an IK retargeter that is auto generated. So I'm going to hit this RTG auto generated to bring up this menu right here. Now, the first thing you're going to see is both skeletal meshes are laid on top of each other. So if you go over to preview settings, you can hit target or source mesh and just adjust them. So now they're separate. And then if I click on the animation itself, it will show the animation. So on this first piece uh, is a details panel. It just shows the source, the preview, and then the target and the target preview. It'll also show the preview settings, which just lets you kind of move the characters so you can kind of preview it in whichever way you want to preview. It also has Rook, slot, Rook lock in preview, which is also good, nice to have, along with some debug settings, which are just these lines on our original mannequin. So if I click debug draw, the draw lines will disappear. The next thing you can look at are the retargeting phases. So we have root, FK, IK, and post. The main two you wanna focus on here is FK and IK. FK, uh, I believe is forward kinetics and IK is inverse kinetics. Forward kinetics or FK works much better when you have two skeletons that are similar to each other. If you have two skeletons that are widely different, then IK tends to be the better match. If I actually click off IK and go to or FK and go to IK, you're gonna see the animation changes significantly. Um, it looks quite bad, it is not accurate. And again, IK is a really good wholesale approach, especially when two skeletons are wi widely different. In a case like this, where both skeletons are not widely different, it is definitely advised to use FK. So now moving over to global settings. Global settings are what I just showed you right up here. You can kind of switch these right here if you wish. So if I switch back to IK, It'll go back to IK and I can unclick and go back to FK. The next thing is root settings. I don't really mess with these that much. Uh, this is really just where the root is being held. 
I wouldn't worry about it too much in this particular circumstance. And then post settings as well, I wouldn't worry about it. But again, we have one main issue with our scene, which is our feet, and we want to adjust that. So the first thing we can do to kind of get that fixed is actually go over here to the left hand of our screen, which is going to let us actually pick on certain bones. So if you go over here to running retarget, if I click it, we're now editing the retarget and I can now edit how the pose is going to look. Since I know the actual feet are still the entire time or not really shifting, I can adjust the feet without too much of a worry. So in this scenario, what I'll do is I go down to the actual foot itself and just bring it up to adjust it. And I'll have it lay flat. And then I can go over here to the right foot as well and adjust it again so it is laying flat. And if I zoom out, you're now going to see that both feet are flat along with this one. There is one minor issue, though, is that this foot is slightly higher, which we can fix later. So now that that is done, if I click running retarget, you're now going to see that both feet are flat and our retarget is, for the most part, looking pretty good. So now what we can do is go over here to exported and selected animations or export selected animations, click on mocap and export the animation. Do not click override existing files because it'll overwrite the previous one. We don't want to do that. So just click it, how, keep it how it is and click export. Okay, so now that we have exported that, I can hit control space, go over to our animation sequence, which clearly shows now it has it on the mannequin and double click on that to open it up. Now, if I adjust and look down, you're going to see that our same issue is still there where the foot aren't really even on the same platform. So what we're gonna to need to do is raise that foot. So to do that, or raise that leg, to do that, we can go over here on the left side of the screen, scroll all the way down to calf, and then I can actually click space to pause so the animation isn't continually playing. And then I can move our leg just slightly up so they're a little more even. So now that that is done, I can click play to make sure that the overall look of the animation is still correct. Uh, I can go back over to the calf itself where it has been adjusted. And now that we have adjusted it, I just need to go up here to click key to key in that right calf change. And if I hold space, or sorry, if I hold space to stop it, but if I go up here to click save, to save the animation and exit out. If I open back up and click on it, you're going to see the animation change is still present. If you didn't key in your animation change by clicking key, what's gonna happen is even though you click save and exit out, and open back in, you're gonna notice a change did not occur. So what you're gonna to need to do is make sure to click key to make sure you keyframe in that change in position for the animation. But once that's in, I can exit out. And now I can go over to my sequence. So I'm going to click right here to open up my sequence and then open up level sequence at the bottom. If you don't have a level sequence already added into your scene, you can go over here to the clapperboard and click add level sequence and you'll have a level sequence. So now that I have my level sequence in, I'm going to go over to add, go to actor to sequencer and type in M A N N to bring in our mannequin. And now we have our mannequin in. So if I go and just immediately add my animation, which is this right here. And now our animation is in and I click play, nothing's happening. So the issue is, is we just have a mannequin control rig already added in and it's not overriding the control rig. So if I just delete the control rig, now you're going to see our character is dancing around. So now that we have that done, we can make our final changes by just kind of going into the transform, hitting rotation, and making sure that our character is as even on the ground as possible. Come on. There we go. And then I can keyframe that in to make sure it stays that way. And voila, our character is now doing the chicken dance on the ground while still staying faithful to the original animation. Now, the next thing we're going to want to do is bring this same retarget onto our other character. So to do that, we can either use the original animation. So we can click on this animation sequence and retarget it, 
Or now that it is more connected to the Unreal Engine mannequin, I can click on the Unreal Engine mannequin, go to retarget animations, go over to target uh, skeletal mesh, and let's go down till we find the exact one that we're working with. I believe it's four. And I can go find our animation, which is chicken dance, and click on it. And now let's check out where the feet are. Luckily, the feet for this one are now completely flat and correct to the ground. So now that for from my perspective, everything looks good, instead of having to go to re or export to retarget assets and kind of make any fine tuning, I can just go over here to export animations, click on that. Again, I'm gonna to go to the mocap folder, click export, and again, I will not override existing files and click export. Now that that is done, I can close you, click add and go over to search and type in man, where we're gonna get our number four, click on animation, click on our animation itself and click play. Now I can pause, go over to transform location and click Z to bring it down and then click play. Now you're gonna see that there are still minor issues with the feet where they were just slightly above the ground. But again, to fix these changes, you can fix these changes using the same method that we did to kind of make sure that the Unreal Mannequin is looking good. Now, the last thing I do wanna leave you with when it comes to retargeting and how to kind of fix up animation is control rig and animation layers. So to do that, what I can do is click on our mannequin, go over to the plus sign, go over to control rig, and make sure layered is clicked. So it'll most likely be like this when you first click on it, unclick this, click on layered, and then click on the control rig. And now you're gonna have the control rig pop up under a layer. So what the layer is gonna help you do is if you have any major issues, like say uh, the hands or the arms are in a weird position in a certain area of the actual animation, what you can do is actually adjust that. So if I click right here and I just wanna go and have this arm be a little higher, I can then keyframe it. And now throughout the entire animation without totally ruining the animation, the arm will be held up. So this is a very fast and easy way of actually adjusting an animation without ruining the root animation. Because what happens is if I click on this layer and delete it, the arm goes down and the animation stays the same. So these are all ways to retarget and effectively adjust your animation. So these are all ways to retarget and effectively adjust your animation so you get the desired effect. So I hope this tutorial was helpful for you guys. I do want to preface this by saying that the layered approach requires a control rig and not all skeletons come with control rigs. So you have two options there. One, create a control rig from scratch, which is time consuming, but will work much better. And the other option is doing a modular control rig. I would say the modular control rig sometimes works perfectly and other times doesn't. So it's kind of spotty. But the animation layer approach to adjusting your overall animations is the most hands-on and easiest to use out of all of them, assuming you already have a control rig made. So I hope this tutorial was helpful for you all. I have a Discord linked below if you all want to jump in there and kind of join the community. And lastly, subscribe. Helps me out a ton. And I'll see you guys on the next one.